Hey everybody, how are you doing? This is Economic Ninja here. I've got something, a product that I've recently spoke about, but just very lightly. And today we're gonna to do a little bit of a tutorial. We're gonna go into a little bit more in depth. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing an unboxing of something that I have been using for the last five months. And I think it's absolutely amazing. And that's this, the YubiKey. Now, the reason why I think you need to, before you click off, uh, you wanna hear about this, is because all the time um, I was a part of real in real estate, I heard uh, my real estate account got hacked. You know, we'd see real estate agents, um, you know, putting out their best, uh, any kind of person that was in business, or just you as the common uh, person that doesn't, you know, works for somebody else, doesn't have your own business, but uses social media like crazy, and they would say, my account got hacked. And this is a solution for that, and it doesn't cost a lot. But if you're into cryptocurrency, it gets even better, because now not only are you able to secure your social media accounts, Cryptocurrency exchanges actually have direct access and a link to where you can actually use your YubiKey to stay protected so where outside parties cannot hack into your private information. Now, I've talked about business owners, I've talked about people like social media, and I've talked about um, people that are into cryptocurrencies. But actually it goes for uh, way more than that because it's not just social media, but this day and age, it seems like nine out of 10 people are using Gmail or Facebook to log in to other websites. So they're using those two platforms, Gmail and, and Facebook, and there's many more, but I'm, I'm hitting on these two because they're usually the most used. They use those as their credentials of, for getting into another website. And that can actually be really dangerous because there are multiple points of failures when it comes to these sites. Um, all a hacker needs in most cases is your username and password to your Gmail account and they can get in. Now, a lot of people go, ah, but Ninja, I've got this. I've got two-factor authentication. But you know what's really sad is that a lot of people, excuse me, do not understand how to secure this from getting a SIM attack. And I'm actually gonna explain that really quick before we go into the tutorial and what this YubiKey does. And the, the other thing too I didn't mention is that I've got an affiliate link that's down in the description below. And the reason why we're doing this video is because for three days, starting June 20th to June 23rd, YubiKeys will be 50% off, but you are only allowed to buy two. And the reason why you'll buy two, I'll explain in a second. All right, so as far as the SIM tech, let's talk about this. When you have a cell phone, it is vital that you have um, a, uh, protections against what's called a SIM swap. Everyone usually knows what that is because anytime you change from one phone to the next, you take your SIM card and you take that information and swap in your next phone. The sad thing is that many people do not have their account protected with a password. And I think everyone needs to go out right now if you don't have it, contact your cell phone provider, set up a password or PIN code, and then you also have the ability to tell them no one can uh, give you this password or PIN code, right? Uh, unless it's them giving it a human being over the phone, or you can even set up to where it's you have to be in the store giving them that password in person. But everybody needs to protect themselves from a SIM swap attack by setting up a password or a PIN. All right, so that's really important. Now let's put that down and we're gonna do an unboxing. So I actually have with me right now a brand new Yubico. Or YubiKey, sorry. And we're gonna open it up and then I'm gonna show you a couple things that you wanna do because I'm really big on security and protection and so that's why I wanna share it with you. First off, the link is uh, more than just getting a discount and then the Economic Ninja channel does receive funds for that and it helps us uh, continue doing what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we're gonna get into why I think it's very important, the whole limit of two. And the reason why they said two is you'll see in here, I have two. And the reason why is because Yubico understands we all forget things. So what they do is when you set your YubiKey up, they actually ask you, and this is why, again, you're using that link because it's bringing you right to the site. I will take this, I will set up my main key. They'll have me plug it in. I'll set up my password, my username for YubiKey. And then they know that I'm the one that's initiating this. After I'm done initiating it, then they're gonna say, do you have a backup key? And we say yes, and they say, put that one in. You put it in, it initiates it. Now it is your backup key, and then this one goes far, far away in a safe place, right? Because then if you drop this, remember, if somebody picked this up, they wouldn't know what the heck to do with it. Even if they knew what YubiKeys were, they would need to actually be able to know your username, 
your password, what uh, sites you use your Yuba key for, but when you can tie this to Facebook and Google, you're pretty much secured on so many different platforms. And then also your two-factor. See, it's very important, especially in cryptocurrencies, where you have a secure password, a great username, your two-factor that's protected against SIM swaps, and a YubiKey. Now, I can guarantee you right now, there's a lot of people out there that have never, they're, they're super stoked on their two-factor, and they're like, my two-factor is solid. I protect my phone with either my fingerprint or a code on top of that, right? So you can't, no one can just turn on your phone and get in. But now they're looking at this going, whoa, that is a whole new level. And why it is a whole new level is because this technology was actually invented in, uh, uh, was it Switzerland or Sweden? The ninja forgets. My editor will be able to put that up on the thing. <laughs> editor. And, um... And what happened is they knew that they needed the big boys of Silicon Valley to get this thing off uh, the ground. And so they actually moved out here and started a company in California, and they have been absolutely crushing it. But what's really cool is I'm showing you this really before it's out there to the masses. So before everybody starts running, that's why they're running these great promotions, okay? So uh, we're going to go ahead now to the technical portion. Um, we're going to show you um, what you're going to see when you click on the link and how you run through the tutorial of which YubiKey works for you, because there's all different kinds. There's kinds that um, are set up to where they'll talk with your phone, NFC, to where it will recognize, but you have to have a certain type of phone. We'll talk about that. Um, we have both Android and uh, iOS uh, platforms available. Uh, it's, it's really neat, very versatile, and everyone I know that has one of these is absolutely sleeping better at night. Let's put it that way. Because when you're in crypto or any kind of finance, security is the utmost importance. And even if you're into none of those, let's just think about this. Just having your Facebook account hacked or your Gmail account hacked with all of your personal information in there is something you don't want to go through. So for the very uh, uh, inexpensive, and I mean that very seriously, um, solution for this, I think it could absolutely change your life. Okay, guys? So with that being said, let's move on. Hello, everybody. Aiden here, the Economic Ninja's son, and I'm going to be going over with you some things about YubiKey and how you can buy your own and figure out which YubiKey you're going to need if you're interested in being able to encrypt and secure your crypto assets, online social media accounts, Gmail accounts, things like that. So first of all, you're going to head to any Economic Ninja YouTube video and head to the description in that video, and there will be a link to the YubiKey website. It is an affiliate link, so it does help out the channel. You don't have to use it, but it would be greatly appreciated, and it's going to take you to Yubico's website here. So it says for professionals, but it's very easy platform to use, and it is compatible with so many different websites, platforms, companies. I mean, just look at all the companies that support YubiKey. Google, Microsoft. Facebook, Twitter, cryptocurrency exchanges like Binance, Kraken, Bitwarden, Coinbase, and so many more platforms that all support YubiKey. I mean, just, just, that's crazy. But back to here. So if you're interested in purchasing a YubiKey, depending on what device you are planning on using it on, whether it's a computer, a phone, a computer and a phone, what type of phone you have, what operating system, you're gonna need a different type of YubiKey. So in order to find that out, you're going to head to the products tab at the top and find the right YubiKey. Click here and you're going to select if you represent an individual or a business. I represent an individual. Depending on what type of device you wanna use your YubiKey on, you're gonna select what different type of connectors you're going to need. Personally, I want to use it on my computer, so I'm going to use a USB-A, and I also want to use it on my iPhone, running iOS, and so I'm going to select Lightning. Currently, I have an iPhone 8, which qualifies as iPhone 7 or newer. Hit Next. Where do you want to keep your YubiKey? Do you want to keep it on your keychain so it's with you wherever you go? Do you want to keep it in your computer USB slot? Personally, I want to keep it on my keychain so I know where it is at all times. So if you want to use your YubiKey on your phone, then you're going to want to have a YubiKey that is capable of NFC. Personally, I do, so I'm going to select yes. Do you want to use your YubiKey to securely log into your computer's operating system? This would be like when you first power on your computer and you don't want anybody to even get into your computer without your YubiKey. Personally, I do. 
what services do you want to protect? So this, again, YubiKey supports so many different platforms and services. So I'm going to go through and click some of the ones that I personally want to protect. Once you've completed the whole list and found all of the platforms that you want to secure, hit next. And that doesn't have to be a final list of everything you want to protect, but it's just going to give you the YubiKey that supports those platforms. I would highly recommend buying a spare key. It does cost more. However, just in case you were to lose that first one, you now lose access to your accounts because it is required to be in your hand to sign in. So if you lose that YubiKey, you now have no way to get into your accounts. So I would highly, highly recommend getting a spare and keeping it in a safe or some type of safe place. Okay, so for me, it recommended three different type of YubiKeys. The first one being probably the most common, the YubiKey 5 NFC. This one you can use in your computer's USB slot and you can also use it wirelessly with your phone. This one you can also use with your computer if it has a USB-C connector. And you may also connect it to your iPhone using the lightning connector on the other side. And also finally we have the YubiKey 5C NFC which is for a USB-C device that can also do wireless uh, NFC capabilities. That's pretty much all on what YubiKey you might need to buy if you're interested in keeping all of your Google accounts, cryptocurrency exchanges, anything online secure. We are going to be coming out with a video in the f in the short future of how to set up your YubiKey if you were to purchase one and we'll show you how to set it up and secure your Google account. So with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.